So the thing I really like about solo adventuring is that you can set your own pace. Um, you can go with your own rhythm. You're not depending on anyone else. But I think the thing is, for me, which is really important as well, if you are getting in touch with people, if you're going to a foreign country, for example, um, if you're by yourself, people will be much, much more open to meet you. There's nothing around you, there's no cage around you if you're running, if you're walking or if you're on a bicycle. So um, there's nothing that surrounds you and that takes away the first initial barrier to talk to people, to connect with people. Also, if you're by yourself, you're by yourself. You know, people will not feel threatened by any size of group or whatsoever. So I really like that because it gives me the opportunity to understand the country much more and to have a much much deeper experience as well having a deeper experience also means you can set your own pace you can stop at the things you like we're all different we all enjoy different things and it's very individual what you like and what you dislike but if you buy yourself you can set that pace you can set that rhythm um, it's also a wonderful opportunity to reflect it's a wonderful opportunity to kind of give yourself some time, give yourself some time to think. Sometimes it's also amazing just to switch your head off and enjoy what you're doing. Don't overthink it, don't think about it too much. Possibly listen to some of your favorite music while you're doing it or some nice podcasts as well. And I think this is, this is the kind of thing, solo adventure does not mean being lonely. It doesn't mean being out there just by yourself. You're physically by yourself. Um, other people are possibly with you in your thoughts <clears throat> and other things as well. So I really, really enjoy it as a way of traveling and I think it's a great way to, yeah, really, really use the time and make the most out of it.